All right, Shalom, Shalom. We are the real Hebrew Israelites coming day in and day out to prophesy down for all of Babylon the Great, which is America. First off and foremost, I would like to say, Call Halalia, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Kar Kadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. Um, I'm going to hop straight into it, man. This is really, you know, a testimony, a vision I had a couple of years back. And, uh, and it's kind of uh, streaming off my uh, last video. You know, I didn't think the spirit was going to connect them, but through the spirit, I, I remember why I had, uh, well, I remember why I was going to do this lesson, and it literally connects to the last lesson I just did. Um... You know about that spiritual contract with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Um, you know, I have my own personal testimony, my own personal vision about it. Um, it was, like I said, it was a couple of years back, and uh, you know, I had a dream, man. And uh, a chariot came down out of the heavens. Me and uh, a brother <laughs> that's no longer a part of the fold. <laughs> We was walking down the street, and uh, a big chariot came out and landed right in front of us. We had a, uh, it was the Gadite, so to speak, angel, you know. And you know, you know, the, the angels are not angels. I'm not saying they have tribes, but if they were of a tribe, you know, from their presence or how they looked or their characteristics, from what I noticed, all right, the one angel, he looked just like a Gadite. He had his garments on and all that. And then the other, the other angel, you know, looked like a, you know, what you will call a Judite. You know, he had his garment on and everything. It was only two angels. So me and this certain person that's not a part of the fold no more got on the sh ship. And uh, the ship took me to the spiritual realm. Or it, it took me to a holy, a, a holy place. But in this holy place, I, I didn't I didn't see that other nigga, <laughs> the the same nigga that got on the, uh, the chariot with me. And you know, through the years of Yahweh Bashim Shai dealing with me on certain visions, shit, the vision was the other the other angel took the other nigga out. He cast him out because when you think about um, how the, it says the angels are the reapers, it says to gather them both together. You know, it, was, it should save the wheat. And then <laughs> throw the goddamn um, the weeds, all right, or the thorns or the bristle, all right. It, it, it threw them into the uh, uh, furnace. So that's kind of what I perceived from that. I said, man, that nigga didn't make it, all right. And then a couple of years later, that nigga got his ass casted out. But nonetheless, within this dream, you know, I, I see how it shot, you know. And, uh, you know, the spirit is letting me know, all right, this is your house shot. The first thing I did, I bowed down, you know, to this man, all right? And he had a big-ass book, a big-ass motherfucking book, man. It was one of the biggest books I ever seen. And through the spirit, it, it was crazy. The spirit was letting me know, all right, what is this in my dream? All right, I, it was like it was getting explained to me as I was, you know, in this vision. So I look at the book instantly. The spirit told me, yeah, this is the book of life. And, and this year, how shot just walking around, smiling like he has the most beautiful little interruption. But nonetheless, like I said, he had the most beautiful smile I've ever seen. It was like a, a, a smile of, I'm proud of you. You, you, you know, like, like that, you're accepted smile. Whatever it was, that shit, it, it made me feel good, man. And I knew how I feel good about, you know, you know, his chosen, you know, being elected, uh, enduring to the end, all that or whatnot. So anyway, you know, I bow down and uh, how shy in this vision, he takes me to a furnace. And within this uh, uh, furnace, it's literally a roll. It, it's I bullshit you not, brothers. It's literally a roll. And it's like a. If you ever seen a scroll on fire, that's how this roll looked. 
that's exactly how the road looked. Yeah, that's the best way I could uh, explain it, man. All right, it looked like a, a, a scroll that was simply on fire, and he took it out with some tongs. And so now, you know, I'm thinking about Isaiah. I, I, I'm thinking about a lot of things in my head, man. You know, so uh, I'm about to eat it. He said, first, promise me you'll never cheat on me with another woman. Now, this is a man talking to me, man. But honestly, you know, we're spiritual men. So we understand the breakdown. What was the woman? The strange woman. I believe it was that Proverbs 7. Uh, the, the woman, or, or when you read Revelations, these are them that have not defiled themselves with women. All right? It goes into the other doctrines, man. All right? So he was like, hey, just promise me you'll never cheat on me with another woman. And I said, I promise, Lord. And, and you know what? I, I say that to say this. That is what reminded me of uh, hey, when the uh, elder apostle Ramah said, do not break the covenant you made with the Lord. Like that really stuck with me because I, I, I started thinking about the vision I had and all that. But nonetheless, I said, I promise, Lord, I ain't, ain't going to cheat on you with another woman. He said, okay. Uh, he grabbed the tongs, handed me the, uh, the scroll. He told me to eat it. I ate it. When I ate it, I can't describe to you the taste. It tastes like cinnamon sugar. Put it that way. It was warm. It was sweet. It was all that. It was all that. Now remember, this is this is a scroll on fire. And after I ate it, like it's sweet as fuck in my mouth. It, it, it tastes wonderful. As soon as it gets to my belly, it burns because, like I said, it's a it's a, it's a scroll on fire. So the burden was really just the affliction. It was the bitterness, man. I'm like, shit. You know, I, I'm, I'm thinking about the Ezekiel. I, I'm thinking about uh, John. So on and so forth, you know. So I'm like, damn. You know, I'm thinking about the scriptures in there. I'm like, damn. It's it. sweet in my mouth, bitter, you know, bitter in my stomach. Bitter in my belly, right? So after that, the Lord brings me to uh, like a, a, a work table. He said, all right, go ahead, make your make your armor, make your sword, you know, all this, all that. So my, you know, my dumb black ass, I'm trying to make it with my hands and hammer it out. And, you know, <laughs> y'all shot look at me and he laughed. He said, no, this is how you do it. And all he did was wave his hands across what seemed to be some, uh, uh, it, it seemed to be like some some elements, but they weren't put together, you know. So he waved his hand out of nowhere. Shit, my sword and armor's made and all that. And then he waves his hand back, I believe, and he dis uh, demantle uh, demantle it again. All right. So it just turns back into elements. So he said, "I right, give it a try now." So now I did it. Now I got the hang of it. Man, I make me a badass armor. Uh, some twin dual swords. I'm like, all right, Lord, I'm ready. I'm ready. Hey, cast my ass back down to earth so I could <laughs> go wreak some judgment, some havoc or some shit. Man, I tell you, the Lord shot me out like a cannon, man. As soon as I get to fucking earth, I, I, I see, uh, I see, you know, some people that used to scoff me about the truth. All right, I see my auntie. Her head was ripped all out of her head. She was in there with her daughter. Her daughter hair was all ripped out of uh, uh, her head. It's chaos everywhere. It's people fucking robbing each other, running running into each other's house, looting, all types of shit, mass murdering, man. And, I, and you know what? My auntie didn't recognize me. Nobody recognized me, man. All right? Whether, well, you know, that was because I was in a new body or not. But nonetheless, I had seen some Edomites. And I said, yep. First victims. Man, I must have flew so fast and I had my sword peeled back. You know, I'm, I'm ready to slice the ass right in half. Lord woke me up. He said, yeah, I'm, I'm only going to give you a taste. <laughs> but uh, nonetheless, I, I say all that to say this, man. That was like a spiritual contract I made with Yahweh Bashim Yom Shai, man, when he asked me. Promise me you will never cheat on me with another woman, man. That That stuck heavy with me, man. I mean, heavy. And then for Elder Ramwa to say it, it, I said, oh, man. I said, I got to do a video on it, man. I got to do a video on it. All right? Because, hey, there's there's certain things, man, we just don't want to let Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shot down on. 
right? Now, yeah, a just man, a fall of seven times, man. And through the spirit, you know, that just man get back up. So, you know, you're going to fuck up here and now, but, man, you don't want no big fuck up, man. There are such things as irreversible fuck ups, man. All right. Matter of fact, there's a there's a great picture. I, don't, I, don't, I believe one of the brothers posted it, but it said things done out of uh, anger. Um, things done out of swift anger. Damn. Brings a uh, ir- irreversible something to that effect. Irreversible. Um, uh, uh, outcomes or or, or, or or results. So what it was is the bird flying and this motherfucking angry dog barking, you know, trying to attack the bird and jump off the cliff to go bite the bird. But the dog ain't got wings, so shit. Obviously he ain't gonna he he gonna miss the bird because the bird gonna fly and the dog's gonna fall to his death. So you know I say that to say this. There are some mistakes that's irreversible, man. <laughs> Cause your ass, that dog ain't gonna come back from that death, man. You know. And there's certain things if you are doing this truth, there's certain things you can't come back from, man. Dropping the plow, hey, is one of them, man. Blasphe- blaspheming the spirit, hey, that's one of them, man. All right. Hey, so with that, man, hey, I, I pray this was edifying. You know, it's just a quick personal testimony. All right. So I'm going to say all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Akar Kadash. Double honors to the other apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. Ba ba ba.